Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the process of making low poly art or cubist art in Photoshop. Um, so what you can do with this type of art is mainly for personal projects or if you're making some sort of design or, or a logo for a company perhaps. Uh, it's a fairly simple process to do, it just takes a little bit of time. So make sure you set aside a good portion of time to work through this project. So what I have here in Photoshop is just a very simple image of a fox. I chose a fox. You can choose any other animal that you'd like to use, but try and find a photo that's high resolution and is a photo of the animal that is somewhat straightforward so that you have a nice even look on the face of the animal. So what you're going to want to do first is use the crop tool to kind of crop out how the photo will look. So you just want to get your working space in order here. So kind of get an area for the animal's face and a little bit of room for you to work with as well. So let's go with that there. So now that we have that, we'll go over to our layer and we'll hit Control J since I'm on a PC. And that'll make a duplicate of the layer. And uh, this is a destructive process. So you will want a duplicate layer just in case you mess up and then you can make another layer from the from the original. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select your lasso tool, your polygonal lasso tool, and just make a rough outline of the animal. It can be any size of your choosing really, just to get a nice outline of the animal. It doesn't have to be perfect. something like that should do just fine. So then what you're going to want to do is do control shift I, which will inverse it and then delete. There we go. Now it's deleted. So, so that's that for us here. So now if you go over to your layer and control click, it'll give a selection marquee and with that, go over here to your tools and select the rectangular marquee tool. And then while you're holding down Alt, click and drag across to about the halfway point of the photo. Doesn't have to be perfect half, but just the half of the photo that you're wanting to use. So then if you control shift I again, and then click delete, there we are. So this will be the half of the photo that we will be using for the low poly art. So next step here is the longest step of it. So you'll go back to the polygonal lasso tool. And then what you're going to want to do is just start making some low poly shapes. Just something like that there. And then you'll go up over into filter. Sorry, make sure you have your layer selected, of course. And you want to go over to filter, blur, average. And what that does is it gives you the average blur, or sorry, the average color of the area that you have selected. So, and then with that, you just carry on forward, making more polygonal shapes. And then instead of going back up into filter, blur, and average all the time, you can redo your last uh, filter by using alt Control f Just like so. And then Control d to deselect the shape. And then you can carry on and keep making more shapes. Now you want to make sure that you don't leave a, an odd space in between like, like this here because then it'll leave an odd odd little gap in between. So don't be afraid to, to uh, overlap on some of your shapes here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
carry on working on this, but I'm going to fast forward so that you don't have to watch me do this long process. Okay, so there we have it. So you notice that I kind of mixed in some smaller shapes and as well as some bigger shapes just to kind of give a little bit more some detail and a little simplicity at the same time. So now that we have completed all of that, we'll go over and we'll select our layer once again, do Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac to duplicate the layer. And with that copy layer still selected, you'll go up to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. So then we'll take that, bring it right on over, connect it, and then there we have a mirrored polygonal low poly art. So then with that, you can go in here, you can add another layer if you'd like, slide it underneath your low poly art, select a brush, select a color, and go ahead and paint that background any color you like. And then there we have it. There is your low poly art. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you have fun with this tutorial.